The case study that I've worked on is all about making environmental data sets open to a wider research community. I'm Anne Gledson, I'm a research software engineer working in the University of Manchester. The case study title is Making UK Air Quality and Weather Data Open and Accessible to a Diverse Research Community. We started off with the Britain Breathing mobile phone application where we record allergy symptoms, hay fever symptoms, so people give a score of one to three based on their nose, eyes and breathing symptoms. And what we wanted to do was com combine that and compare that with local air quality and pollen data and weather data. But what we found fairly soon was that it's quite difficult to get hold of the environmental data. It's from lots of different sources and it needed a lot of cleaning and imputing and estimations of regional areas. Our research benefited from applying open research practices. It kind of opens a dialogue between yourselves and, and the users of your data. It publicises your work, so it raises your research profile. And also, most importantly, we've got sort of snapshots of the open data and the source code that we've used that we can go back to and reuse if we need to. And importantly, other people can easily use that positive impact for people in the future that are using our data is that they'll have less work to do. They'll be able to look at the decisions that we've made producing that data which are well explained and well documented. We publish the data in the Nature Scientific Data Journal so they can read a peer-reviewed description of exactly how we imputed and made the regional estimations. It's easy to access that data, maybe um, follow the same process with some new data or reuse our old data. So the tips that I would give for other people who want to open their data up and share it with others is to not try and aim for perfection. Decide what you want to do with the data, make the pre-processing decisions, stick with them, explain them so other people understand what you've done and why. Try and make the data and the tools as adaptable as possible so other people can change it. But most importantly, don't aim for perfection or you'll never get it finished. <laughs>